I believe art is meant to be a mirror for the human experience. My art evokes chaos because that is something that needs to be explored, not only within ourselves, but how we conceptualize art as a whole. I allow the paintings to speak for themselves because they tell you so much more than what I'm able to express with words. The person experiencing it gives it meaning because they find something in it that is familiar to themselves. And all of that is based on perception. You might even think, oh, this piece reminds me of lava or or passion, or it might even you might even be interested in the white and red paste dripping in the tear ripped vertically in the middle of the canvas, giving that illusion that it's releasing all of this chaos. I like to think of it almost like a white hole, controversial, complex, yet mystifying and polar opposites of a black hole. Black holes attract matter, not allowing anything in its proximity to escape it, while as white holes emit matter, matter that cannot be perceived or described. I want my viewer to get lost in the painting, to experience the texture and expand themselves, to open up to the endless number of possibilities. Throughout my process of painting, I'm constantly having to let go of control. I improvise with movements, the structure of the painting, the square. My signature symbolizes structure. It allows the chaos and the structure to coexist as one. Once they are joined in the painting, the painting becomes whole, as if it were yin and yang. While I'm painting, I like to paint while doing improvised movements. I like to experiment with texture. Um, each stroke has an emotion. Each each splatter, each pore has its own character in a sense. I believe that all of these come together to paint a whole picture and to make the full image. I believe that's where the beauty and the true chaos lies.